<laughs> that was a cheat. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. You tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You said my world on fire. You said my world on fire. I just want you. I just need you, I don't know Good morning guys, it's 5am <laughs> I look how I feel Tired I didn't sleep very well last night Because I get really bad show anxiety But not like nervous show anxiety Almost like excited um, I've always had it But I think because now I'm doing it on my own It's that little bit extra, I don't know um, But I'm really excited Good morning guys, I feel like I can say good morning now a little bit better. It's slightly later, we're now about 20 minutes after the last time I spoke to you. I have my tea, I'm going to brush my teeth again once I finish this. Then I'm heading to the yard. I've got some tinted moisturiser on, a little bit of bronzer and some mascara. I've just brushed my eyebrows with some clear gel um, and once I brush my teeth again I'll add some lip balm. Just so I look a bit fresher because otherwise I did just look incredibly dead and that's not what I want today. I'm tired, like seriously tired. To my left, I have an ottoman um, in my dressing room, and my cat is currently looking underneath it with eyes this big, meaning she caught a mouse last night, has lost it under my ottoman, and it's by the side of me. If I scream in a second, it's because the mouse has run out over my feet. I just haven't got time to deal with it today. Um, so I'm just I'm kind of shaking a little bit at the fact that something could crawl out in a second. <laughs> but I need to just be in here, have my tea and go. I am already underneath, so I've got my competition shirt on. I haven't done it up yet because otherwise I'm going to choke. Um, and I want to be able to breathe before at least I get there. Um, I have my Lemire Elite tracksuit set on, which you'll see more uh, later on. But it's just the... Um, but it's just the navy hoodie and trackies to keep my oh that's my deodorant bottle I've just knocked over uh, to keep my competition whites underneath um, nice and clean socks are on hairs back I feel like I'm ready to go I've got this much left of my tea and then we're heading straight to the yard to plat Ringo this morning if you haven't seen my competition prep vlog then make sure to go back and watch it and yeah. I'm nervous but excited for today it's my first show on my own my mum might meet me there I'm hoping she does meet me there um, but even so, it's my first show completely on my own at home, getting him ready, getting him on the lorry, taking him to the show. Um, I don't think my mum's going to make it to the yard in time, um, and whether she's going to make it to the extra show or not, I don't know, because I've got quite an early test, and she's not an early morning person. I've cut my work-in time down now to about 20-30 minutes, otherwise I think he'll get too tired, especially after going out for the day yesterday and having a lesson as well. The second I got on yesterday, he was really chilled. Tea is done, brush my teeth again, then on the road to go. <laughs> okay guys, let's go. Oh, lip balm is on, teeth are brushed again. I think I'm gonna wear trainers today. Okay, I have a coat for later if I need it. Lights out. Can't see me now, let's go. <laughs> hey guys, so I've just arrived at the yard. It looks so pretty this morning. Look how gorgeous it looks, all the lights on, everybody's here. There's actually somebody else going to a show today as well. So it's all go. I'm now just gonna get my bag in the lorry, get the ramp down, and then straight away go and start platting as soon as I can. <laughs> Good morning, are we ready to get ready? Hey, are your covers and shavings? That's a good start. Hey, and he poos in a pile, guys. So, and he always sits under his hay net, which is really weird, but all of his poos overnight are in a pile, so it's nice and easy to muck out. He doesn't even get them in his bed. Do you? Hey, you good boy, come on then.
I've just put my tack in. I'm just going to quickly swap my numbers out from eight to number two. And I just wanted to say the biggest thank you to the girls in the yard ever because I've arrived and my tack is spotlessly clean. His hay net's been filled up. You guys are just the absolute best. And now to get our numbers on. <laughs> so doing what Ringo does best. Loose for the second time this morning. Oh, we're we gonna focus on him. There we go. Yes, you're always loose. You are, I'm gonna put your tack away and you're loose. I tied you up again. I put your hay net in the lorry. You're loose again. <laughs> Just looks like you've been hanging there. You're tired now. Okay, guys, so we're nearly ready to put his boots on. My mum is actually gonna come this morning, so I'm just waiting for her. I'm gonna razzle dazzle spray him. I'm talking. This is my favourite to make him super sparkly. And I'm gonna go for his feet with the um, NAF stain remover. I don't think it's picking up because it's a weird light in here. Um, but I will put you on another time, that's all we do. I've done his plaits to the best of my ability. Um, I've even managed to plait the bulb patch actually a tiny bit. I mean, that, obviously, it's not the best plait, but at least it's something in there. Um, at least that's what I thought anyway. Um, but yes, <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you looking at me weird? <laughs> Hey, what are you looking at me weird for? But yeah, he looks so smart, all plattered up. But we've got some spiky bits. I've tried my best to gel them down, but it's not working, is it, Dingo? Not working. <laughs> right, I'll try and catch you first. Hey, okay, catch you again. Are you a wild stallion? I don't know how I'm going to plait you into your bridle today, by the way, Dingo. If you're um, if you've got plaits in, I don't know how we're going to manage that. Tie you in, but I don't know if I need to tie you in with. Okay, so we're going to do it like that. It's going to be a bit of a ring it job, I think. I'm just hoping Chloe don't shake while I'm riding. <laughs> okay, what are we going to do about that one? I think it's a pretty squeaky bit. I'm trying to cut this loose. Fingers crossed. Right, baby. Tie you up again. You're not quite ready yet. Let's get the time up so we can see you. Can you see you there? We might want to be a little bit more upright. There, about there. Let's do razzle dazzle you. Can you do razzle dazzle you? Razzle dazzle the flats. That stuff is so good. It smells good too, doesn't it? Oh boy. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I'm a little lipstick. Right, let's do your feet. I'll turn that down. So you can watch mommy do your feet. I'm gonna go straight for the back leg. That's the one he's doing the most. And then we just get the legs that one in me. Yeah, I'm just putting his boots on. I'll see you in a second. Okay, guys. We are off. We are ready. We're going to say goodbye to all of our mates, I'm sure. I woke up this morning, maybe we're a bit tired. Hey, he looks so smart. Look at you. Hey, Mum's just coming in the gate. Let's wait for her to get by. Don't eat the fish. to go by so we don't get run over. Okay. No one then. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna load him. I'll try and transfer you onto my phone a second.
guys, we are ready to go. Dingo's in the lorry. His plats are in. I'm actually quite proud of them, to be perfectly honest. We've got a little puppy coming with us today as well. That's Poppy. And yeah, we're ready to go. He's finally at the, about five times later, really worked out the hay net in the lorry. Haven't you, the hay tidy? And we're all ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so we are here. We have arrived. Dingo's been talking to everyone, because you can hear everyone, can't you? I'll put you guys up here. On this side. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. Oh, there's loads of horses, oh dear. Dingo, not a fan of it. Is that going to stay back? Yeah, I'll just put it on that one, Dingo. Just a little bit more open, just so Mummy's got a little bit more space. All the plants have stayed in. You are Osha at the party. <laughs> one thing, I've forgotten the stallion badge, so I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Um, hopefully somebody here has got the stallion badge that I can borrow from my chest. <laughs> okay, right, back boots, back booties. You've got very runny poo, Dingo. an idiot. I can't actually believe I've done that. I keep thinking I'm going to find it somewhere, but I just know I'm not. Really need a wee as well, but 
Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna be off in an hour. Literally an hour. So, um, <laughs> I'll just have to hold on. Okay, that is there. Maybe you should have to get me dirty now. That's the clean to be that one. Mm -hmm. Stock easiest stuff in the whole world. No, you're not going to to touch me. I'm going to see if you can see I haven't got a bun ring or anything like that, so, but I have got hairspray. I'm going to have to just give it a go. I've got really greasy hair, so that should also help stick it down. What is the matter? Mwah. Love you. Yes. Is that so horse? Isn't it doing good? Hey, I'm going to have to touch my boobs. Have I got all of me hair? I think so. I think I'm really good though. Okay. So, have some hay. Yeah, have some hay. Now for the next band. Yeah. I'm just going to twist. What? <laughs> It's gonna have to do however it looks, but it's um, <laughs> it's a bum, isn't it? It's, it's there. That's as good as it's gonna get. Hopefully, it's long enough to not really be able to see it with a bit of luck. Okay, you're fine. Get me trousers off. Tune. Okay, time for another polo for you. I'm going to turn it. I've got some in my pocket. I've got some in my hand. I've passed in my hair. I've just touched my sh... I'm going to be careful now. I've forgot I'm already wet as well. No skin on me! How can you see? It's not all about the zoo, Dingo! That's my competition jacket. Competition hat out and ready. This is the Sparky Navy SV8 from Charles Owen. I'm not going to put it on just yet though because I've still got some time left to tack up and carry on titivating and whatever. Competition jacket going on. He's about to roar again. Shit. My ears. What is it just that I'm all whiny? My darling, it's really far from it. Should I go again? Let me have a munch. You chill out and have a munch. Okay. So other than my hat and my gloves, I am personally ready to rock and roll. So I do find one to get back from the shop, which hopefully She's managed to find a stallion badge. Fingers crossed. It's for our stallion badge. Yep. It's the Blue Peter moment, isn't it? <laughs> it is the Blue Peter, yep. Yep. Guys, it's come to this. We've got stallion written on the kettle. That's the only way we've got a stallion badge today. Okay, trouble. Wait now, party time day. Somehow gotta figure out how to plait your name in without <laughs> main to plait. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out a way of being able to tie him in. Hey? I'm trying to figure out a way of being able to tie him in. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
I don't know whether we have to, I think we're going to stand from the step, but I can get on from the ground. <laughs> and just have my stirrup would be amazing. Yeah, no <laughs> Thank you. Are you tying him in? Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know how to tie him in. Right, have you got some, well, have you got some elastics? Yeah, but they're not very stretchy ones. Do you have some elastics? I've got some, but they're not very it's stretchy. It's about tying his bridle in. Because otherwise he shakes his head back. Shakes his head, the bridle comes off, which isn't ideal. So normally, we put it... It's not sweetie, so I promise. We've got these long elastics. I did, I did at home. Stupidly Just join them together, Scarlett. Your fingers will be better than mine. Do you know how to join them together? Do you reckon you'll swing, swing it off? Come on, everybody. I don't know where you are. Yeah, I'll okay. I'm a superstar. He's good as gold, but... There's noise when he has comes off. It's just... He's just a boy. He's just got balls. Just, well, he hasn't really got balls. You're diamond, thank you. If he had balls, he'd have had them off years ago, wouldn't you, darling? <laughs> tap, tap, lad. Yeah. <laughs> Put that. I, I feel that you really them. need another one of these. What? Right. Oh, that's good. There you go. How's that? Perfect. Is that gonna? Do you think you want two of those? Oh, you've got another one. Super. That's perfect. That's the other end. Yep, got it. Do you get that? Good girl. Okay. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Here we are. We've got some spiky bits, but we're all good. Oh, my darling's been such a good boy. I love you. <laughs> He's just been an angel. That's our stallion badge. <laughs> oh, good boy. My little baby. <laughs>
He was amazing from start to finish today. He has literally never, ever, ever been this well behaved out before. He was just out, knocked me in the boob. Um, absolutely incredible. Our test was our best test yet. However, I, did, I knew my test, I knew my test, but obviously doesn't know it well enough because he was a little bit behind my leg on my second um, bend after X or X to E half 10 meter circle. And he kind of, he dropped behind my leg. So I think I was so concentrating on him being forward that I then wasn't thinking about where I was going and then skipped ahead. So anyway, that's fine. Apparently it's only two points, so that's fine. Um, but other than that, it was amazing. We just, we did it, we got round and he was just, he was amazing and I'm so happy. So mum and I are now going to leave for Dingo, having some hay. He's lovely and chilled now. Um, I'm gonna drop the top on the, on the ramp as well because it's currently open. And we're going to go and see the rest of the tests, get my test sheet, and um, yeah, have some food. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> no, we what don't do swapsies doing? around here. <laughs> Where's my mummy gone? <laughs> I'm your sister. Yeah, come on. Okay. is still shutting around. I'm not examining a tantrum. Don't need a wee. Don't need a wee. Who should go with you? Yeah, mum. No. <laughs> there you go. You're a child. <laughs> She's mummy's girl. God. We have our breakfast. <laughs> I've gone for the children's breakfast because I am a child. Mummy's got the regular. <laughs> and this is our view. We're watching the um, everybody go round as we're having our breakfast. I'm starving. It's my first thing I've eaten all day today. Come on, little Bobby. Do you want a wee wee? Come on, Bobby. <laughs> oh, big stretch. Big stretch for little Bobby. I think you might want a wee. You're not a wee at all yet. Come on. Wee wees. So I've just gone and got Ringo some more water. And I've moved the lorry now as well so we can be closer to the water. Mum's reading our test. We got just under 64%, but I'll run you guys through all of that really later. So, so happy with that. Okay, for our first ever elementary as well, it was like, pretty good. So, let's go see him. I've also got to put his boots on before we go as well. Ringo didn't want any water, did he? He put his head in it thinking it was dinner and it wasn't. But we're now just taking our little Bobby for a wee wee in the big field. So I hope they don't lose her. See what the recall's like. <laughs> right, come on, little Bobby. So we're back home. I've just unloaded him and I've just cleaned out the back of the lorry. And we're about to go and take his plats out. So I will show you guys the crazy mane that's about to come out of his plats. And then we'll go home and I can talk you all through my test and my results. Okay, guys, I've just taken his plats out. Are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> go, uh, go to the light a minute. I give it a minute. Let's everybody see. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh. Hi guys. I was actually going to finish this video tomorrow, but actually I think I'll finish it today because I'm exhausted. And then tomorrow I can just chill on my Sunday, edit two videos, and then just have a very chill day. It's not long until my three week holiday either and I have all my videos all ready to go out while I'm away. So I've been working triply hard so that everything does stay normal. So don't worry, even when I'm away, my uploads will still be uploading. So I thought we could run through my test. I am exhausted. It's now half past four. I've just got home. I have been up since five o'clock this morning. And I'm tired. I'm about to go and have a really hot bath. I've got a galaxy caramel bathing and a cup of tea and then I'm gonna come downstairs and make a huge chicken Caesar salad and then I'm gonna have a whole tub of ice cream. While watching Strictly Come Dancing, actually, it's the first one tonight. So, test sheet, elementary 43. Uh, so, we got 64%, just under, 63.9%, like so basically 64%. We're gonna round it up, you know, <laughs> every point counts. The most consistent, I hope you can see that, the most consistent test ever, mainly consisting of sevens and 6.5s with the odd six. I am so chuffed with that. Like honestly, so chuffed. A super consistent test. It's not as if we're getting like, bless you, not as if we're getting like threes and nines, you know? Everything is consistent and we're consistently just above average, which is great. Average is five. They do the marking somewhere. Here we go. So six is satisfactory and seven is fairly good. Five is efficient. So five is like average, let's say. Satisfactory is the next one up. And then seven is fairly good, eight is good, nine is very good, 10 is excellent. So we're fairly good <laughs> with the odd satisfactory, which I don't think is that bad. So our center lines at home, I've been working on them so much. 
And he does look, the thing is, okay, chatty time here quickly. <laughs> we don't go out competing very much. We've been out once in six months and twice now in five years. So up until May or no, March this year, we hadn't been out competing in four, five years. I think it's five years, it might be four, but whichever, it's a long time. Then this year, we haven't been out since March. We don't get out enough to, to get to not be tense, if that makes sense. You're quite high there, let me try and put you down a bit. There we go, that's better. Um, so a lot of what we lost marks on today was tenseness. And tension is not just gonna come from him, of course, because it's never just the horse's fault. It's also going to be coming from me because I'm also not regularly competing. And I do get anxiety. Last night, I really did not sleep very well. My heart was pounding, not because I was scared, or even necessarily because I, excite I was excited, which obviously I was. I could just, I just kept playing over and over and over what it was gonna be like. And I just, I couldn't sleep. And it was, it's just where I'm not, regularly competing and it happens you know if you're going out every single week it's just another day you know but if you're just going out here and there it's quite a big thing so especially now i've got a horse box i can definitely go out <laughs> my dogs are just making grim noises in the background i'm not gonna have to edit out can we just stop making all the funny noises now mommy's home so <laughs> here they are so yeah, we did lose quite a lot of marks to tension um, and things like that. No, let's not fight a second. Hang on. I know it's play fighting, but mummy's just very tired and can't deal with this right now. So, going down the centre line. Bless you. <laughs> um, he's looking at the judges, not because he's scared, but he's like, there's judges in there. I'm not going to listen if you, I'm not going to listen to your legs trying to push me straight. No, can I just move my bum out a little bit? So both of our centre lines, I think we got sixes. No, we didn't. No, that's a lie. Our second centre line, we got a six and a half, so 6.5. Um, but first centre line, we got a six. He went around the outside of the arena like a dream. Then I go to test him down the centre line, and he's like, no, I can't bother now. And kind of, and pretty much died on me. And I literally had to pick him up and ride him every single stride. I must admit, I was incredibly impressed with my riding. A really good score for my riding. I think I got a seven and a half for my riding, which, and as long as my riding scores are always above a seven, I'm always happy with that. So, what did we get for that? First, yeah, I thought the second one was better. Um, I went wrong. I knew my test. Did I know? No, basically what it was, was we went down the centre line, stopped at X, carried on, C turn right, and we trotted all the way in a long arena, all the way around to B, and at B we did a half circle to X, and X half circle 10 metres to E. By the time we got back to the track at E, ready to go around and carry on where I knew where I was going, I was going to come back up the centre line and then leg yield over, he just completely went dead off of my leg. <laughs> And was like, no, I'm not listening. And I put so much energy within like a stride and, and, and making it as tidy, like, tidy as I could to just be like, no, we're going. <laughs> then I then was focusing on him and not where I was going. And so I went across the deck and on a medium trot. And it was as I put like two steps in, I thought, I just missed out where I'm supposed to be. However, going wrong is only two points, which I didn't realize. So it's only two points deducted. So we still got a really good score and we went wrong. So we could have ended up with like 64 and a half percent. I don't know if that adds up that much I don't know but you know every point's a point um so yeah we went wrong and still got that score um our canter we, I was actually kind of almost dreading our first canter at least it's it's, it's his least balanced and strong rein in canter um and just recently and even cantering a 20 meter circle balanced and straight can be quite a struggle for him just for again we've only been back in work for over a year now um and it takes years to get strength to get you know strong it takes ages to get stronger and back up together and whatever and he's got a lot of front and he is weaker behind anyway so just you know building that strength up gradually is you know it's challenging for him bless his heart so we got sevens for those sevens our worst thing we got our best score for in our lesson yesterday we went over them quite a lot actually um and our instructor said you know as soon as that's over you can just smile and carry on with the rest of your tests and you'll be fine they were some of our best bits. <laughs> so we basically we had to walk, um, do our free walk on a long rein to V and then walk around to A. A, walk to canter at A and then straight away at A do a 15 metre circle. Um, so yeah, Ringo on that rein does usually struggle, especially picking up the canter, keeping enough momentum, not getting too collected and too behind the bridle to continue cantering without trotting, especially on the tight circle. Sometimes he can either swing his bum in or think, no, I'm going to break because it's a lot easier. Um, he didn't do any of that 
he didn't do a flying change in his counter counter which, which is one thing that he does do a lot <laughs> It's been one thing that's been really hard to contain um, and him only doing flying changes as and when asked didn't do that. He was just, he was epic. I'm going to go and have a bath now. I'm so exhausted. I hope you enjoyed this video. My mum filmed the test. It's not very good. Uh, it's in the filming. It's not very good. Bless her heart. She did try. Um, but I'm going to put in some clips of my tests that aren't off the floor, <laughs> basically. So, I so I'm really sorry that you guys didn't get to see too much of that. Um, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next time I'm going to take somebody with me so it can be like a proper vlog vlog um, as opposed to like a day in the lifestyle vlog. Um, it was, this was just the only way I was going to kind of be able to get a video out of today. And I really wanted to because I really enjoy documenting my days out. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I will speak to you guys soon. Bye!